Me did the yan yan touch you are, and maybe I'm discovered for you, Pacum Busia for Wagana. No, me used to tap tap send, tap tap send. No fee mobile money transfer. A year easy, a year convenient, a year fast, and sounds so you free. Won't you ashe? Me discover ye map pimp tap tap send. In TNA, also download the tap tap send app. No, ever mobile phone so free. Let's first take a come where Busia for Wagana for name in a tap tap send. Papa no no. holiday moment i know you are home you're seated you're lying down you're feeling good this is sammy flex speaks on your favorite youtube channel sammy flex tv in ghana here we are celebrating a holiday in fact wherever you are i don't know for yourself we are here to serve you right good quality content sammy flex is already seated and ready to roll let's officially welcome him I'm feeling yonkified already, you know. Like, a cobra church now on Tari B say, I owe one off about question now. See that feeling? Yeah, you know. What, what is that word? Yonkified. Yonkified, yeah. You know, when you buy some clothes for abroad, people sleep for abroad and they think yeah. they are getting used. <laughs> so, <they're> unnecessary. <laughs> <laughs> like you're not feeling the use of the clothes yeah sometimes you just put them on and yeah you feel well, i smell i smell i smell yeah. travel 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 like young -fied. Young -fied. oh i'm not traveling just that like i'm just feeling yonkified with this KK. that's that's the feeling like when you buy clothes for abroad and you are not going mm. and you just wear them so anytime you wear them i feel like you're like you are there it's like today the way i'm walking around i feel like i'm in london <laughs> <laughs> the weather itself. I saw it go. That's I mean, everything all right. Yeah, yeah, everything is all, all right. Good, all good. I don't good, know if okay. um, the whole world uh, people will be celebrating the Edo um, Edo Fetter thing. I don't yeah, know. yeah, I don't for know. the Muslim side. Yeah, I don't know whether all countries would observe that, but here in Ghana, I think we're observing it. Yeah. Um, today, as in today is a holiday for our Muslim brothers who are celebrating their uh, Sanla. So yes. Mm. Uh, we wish them well and mm. we pray that whatever they prayed for during their fasting moment mm. god will do it for them i know god will do it for them and do it for us too and um today uh, in the evening there are so i think two big shows not so many two big mm -hmm. shows mm -hmm. and i i see them as competing shows mm. one at nima mm -hmm. uh, hosted by vv ip mm -hmm. they've been doing this for so many yeah. years yeah and again when you come to new fadama, fadama yeah. sadiki and his people they're also hosting another one for their people mm. so tomorrow the contest will be on who mm -hmm. will pull the biggest mm -hmm. numbers mm -hmm. and i know we are following i've seen most of these artists performing here and there mm. i've seen um black Sherry performing at the nima event mm. i've seen kwam eugene and his team you know kwam eugene is a fadama boy yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. so yeah. it is what it is yeah. but it feels good mm. um this guy your man um deflex yeah D -Flex. he also said you do some show but mm -hmm. i don't know whether mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it is happening he mentioned uh, national, national theater. theater yeah i'm not too sure about it because mm -hmm. i've not seen publicity either on facebook mm -hmm. or any of his platforms so we wish whoever will do anything well we are ready to do the reviews after everything okay so this is just a simple quick 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 recap on whatever i mean updates on whatever is going to happen that is today or tomorrow whenever you get a time on watching this episode my name is mc berry my your favorite mc's mc let's say a very big thank you to currency for handling cameras richard the finest boy flex and as well as lapiji for always making sure that we get you quality content on this very beautiful platform summer flex tv if you haven't subscribed yet please do well kindly share when you get this content and of course like it is it is it is important for us now today 
I chanced on <laughs> City TV News. Mm -hmm. I mean, City TV. And um, there was an interview section mm -hmm. between, um, I call her Mama Framer, mm -hmm. or Madame Framer, mm -hmm. with, should I say his... Um, the Rutika. The Rutika. But then there was a Dimbia here with the Mano. Uh, Salaga soldier. Uh, Salaga soldier and the then Rutika. the Rutika. Kuchoko. Kuchoko King. That is the word I'm looking for. <laughs> the Kuchoko King. Kuchoko. Is Kuchoko? Yes, no Kuchoko. Uh, but Kuchoko. Kuchoko. Bam. Kuchoko. Kuchoko. Bam. Kuchoko. Kuchoko. Bam. Ah, that's Kuchoko. No, no. You have to bam. You have to add bam. Kuchoko. That's him. Black Rasta. People say he's a very, he's a very controversial man. I don't know for you. Is um it? yeah you can say controversial but Ghanaians have different understanding of people they mm. claim they are controversial mm. if you are hard to convince in ghana they say you are controversial mm -hmm. that is my understanding over the years that is what i've seen anyone who is hard to convince mm. people think you are controversial because when they say go mm -hmm. you ask why should i go aha mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. you don't just go the mm -hmm. moment you are like that they will say you are controversial. And I have followed Black Rasta on radio even before I started my own radio career. Yeah. He is that guy who says it as it is without fear or favor. Mm -hmm. But in one of his intro, he will tell you, I'm the guy who will say what you don't want to hear. Mm. Uh -huh. But he will, say, he will tell you what you want to hear and not what you want to hear. Mm. So, yes, um, I think it is, it is because of some of these things, reason some people say he's controversial. Mm. But I've worked with him closely for mm -hmm. some good years. Mm -hmm. And I think he's one of the best guys to work with. Mm. Very supportive, very mm. open-minded, mm. very positive. Mm. Uh, Black Rasta really saved me in so many ways oh, okay. during my years of working with him. Mm. Like he was there for me. Mm. Anytime I'm down, he comes up to hold me down and he has been a good guy. So, yes, I, I can also say he's controversial. Yeah. In fact, I don't see controversial to be an insult, if mm. you ask me. Mm -hmm. It is not negative like that. Yeah. It means, like I'm saying, that person is not an easy walkover. Mm. Um, he's not that guy you just say, go, and he'll go. Mm. No, he would, he would have to ask you reasons why he should go. Mm. If you're able to convince him, he'll go. If you're not able to convince him, then I'll him. Never exactly. All right. So what has he done? That, like I said earlier on, there's been an interview section with him and, of course, the beautiful lady Freema. And uh, there's a video back into it. He is saying that Black Sharif, um, his style of music is kind of being similar. I mean, his songs are kind of being similar. And if he doesn't take good care, he's going to be a one-way artist. Mm -hmm. Do you agree to that? After this video, we will come back and then ask few questions on that area. So let's watch the video. We will be right back. What do you think about Black Sheriff? Black Sheriff is a brother who is very lucky. Mm. People have made better songs than Kweku Traveler. He's very lucky. He has a certain grace that's upon him. If mm. I were him, mm -hmm. I would start looking at the mistakes of others and move on. Mm. I've listened to only two of his songs and I think that they're so similar. Mm. Similarity. It's not one way, mm. but if it's not careful, he will be a one way artist. Mm. His songs sound almost the same. Right. He's a good guy. I love him. Mm. I would love to see his energy. I would love to see him grow. He's a young guy. Yeah. Mm. People like Kweku the Trap, uh, uh, Black, Black, Sheriff. Black Sheriff. When they mind, mm. I would forgive them and say, well, they are just coming up. Mm. They will grow into something bigger. Mm. But not Sakodie, not Stoneboy. You understand? Yeah. Not Shatawale. Mm. No. What what all right, so this is a few conversations that we were able to tap. In fact, this is where we want to discuss. He was being asked, um, what do you think about Black Sheriff now? First, do you believe in grace? When it falls on you, it does. Before we enter into it proper, proper, mm. Mm. as an artist or let's mm. say individual, mm. does grace really work on us? Um... This one, I want to work with your most ideologies. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm asking this thing because I know hard work, <laughs> determination, be uh -huh. smart, uh -huh. perseverance. Um, grace, grace will come in many forms. Okay. What you might even term as grace could be your schoolmates. Mm. 
Mm. What you might term as grace will be your colleagues at work. Mm. What you might term as grace will be your wife, your girlfriend, mm. your boyfriend. Mm. Any of them mm. can come in that form of grace. grace. So imagine you have your school colleague be mm. uh, that who is now doing well. If you meet you and say, "Oh, baby, my what are you doing? Oh, I'm this. I'm that. Okay, then I want to add this to you, so you mm. become big." Mm. It is form of that grace we are talking about. But okay. it is because you were able to attend school with that guy. Mm. And it comes in that form. So, yes, um, everyone would get support one way or the other based on all these factors that I've mentioned. Your mm. connections, based on your knowledge, based on where you go to, based on the people you have met or the people you meet. Mm. So, if that is what is called grace, then everybody would meet it one way or the other. Mm. And it is not peculiar to just some people. Mm. It could be that when you met someone in a trotro, you were at the front, he was at the back. He said, oh, the guy at the front, I've paid mm -hmm. for him. Mm -hmm. That is your grace you I, met at that time. So. You understand, uh -huh. so I think that in terms of that support, in mm. terms of that lack, everyone gets it one way or the other. Okay, that is how I would define grace. All right, that's cool. Thank you very much. Your definition for grace, you can just put it at the comment section over there. And do you think that grace and parampara mm -hmm. are top black sheriff in this one now? This young town is still mm -hmm. making waves mm -hmm. as far as entertainment is concerned, mm -hmm. Ghana. Nigeria, mm -hmm. as a, at, at large, mm. Africa. Mm. Now, I, I currently heard the news mm -hmm. that he's been featured on um, a show around Portugal. Yeah, I've also, I've also heard it, but I've not seen it yet. Okay. Um, I've heard it. Mm. I've heard it. Mm. I think this, uh, this afternoon, someone sent me a message online asking if I've seen that. I mm. said, yes, I've, I knew he was going for um, the Afro Nation um, concert in Portugal mm. or festival, mm. the Afro Nation festival in Portugal. But as to whether he's left, he's mm. about to leave. Mm. The information is sketchy. Just mm. that I've seen some people write that um, he will be leaving. Them. Like I'm saying, it's sketchy. I'm All not right. too sure about that. Okay, yeah. so then I think we will have to get more details on that mm. one and then we will feed mm. you back on that one now. Mm. So let's move on straight into business. Yeah. Now, with Black Rasta, what he's saying is mm -hmm. Black Sharif is very good. Mm -hmm. He loves that young champ. Mm -hmm. But as it stands now, mm -hmm. he feels that um, he's listened to two of his songs mm -hmm. and it's quite similar. Mm -hmm. Now, considering from your end, mm -hmm. where you are sitting now, mm -hmm. Black Series song that you've listened, mm -hmm. do you see kind of similarities in that area before we move into it? Um, well, I think Black Rasta has a point. Um, he's not saying anything... Um, negative negative mm. he's not insulting black chef he's not attacking him mm. in any way uh, when i chanced on this video on facebook as well and uh, kwame does his post mm -hmm. i saw some people who were attacking black rasta i saw some people mm -hmm. who were putting out some negative vibe but i'm not sure he said something wrong because even what he's saying him as black rasta has some songs that are similar to mm -hmm. almost every artist mm -hmm. almost every creative person you have a certain style, and that style, no matter what, it will keep recurring or it mm. will keep appearing mm. in your creative pieces. Mm. So if someone has listened to Black Shave's first sermon, mm -hmm. has listened to Black Shave's second sermon, sermon. has listened to Black Shave's Kwekude Traveler, mm. yes, it is true. There are some similarities in it. It is all because of the way he flows. Mm -hmm. The way you f there are so many rappers in town, mm -hmm. I wouldn't want to mention anybody's mm -hmm. name. So many rappers in town, their rap is one way. Mm -hmm. What changes is the content. Mm -hmm. It is the same way to a best start here. Da 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 Like no matter what, he will write ten verses. He will flow the same way. Just that you know the content will be different. Okay. But that is what their breath is used to. Mm -hmm. That is how they can flow. They are used to that kind of flow. So, Black Rasta is not saying anything negative. I agree with what he's saying. Mm -hmm. He is right. He is spot on. Everything he's saying is factual. So, I don't know why. And he said something. If mm -hmm. you listen to what he mm -hmm. said well, mm -hmm. he said he is sounding similar. It doesn't mean he's sounding one way. Yeah. It doesn't mean he's sounding one way. Mm -hmm. And like what I'm saying, everybody is like that. Mm -hmm. If you remember, a time came, Shatawale did a song called One Way Style, One Way Style, mm -hmm. Dark and Dark. It was a beef or it was a diss song to another artist. Yeah. Once again, he was also blaming that artist for sounding the same way mm -hmm. or for sounding similar. Mm -hmm. And it is not as if the person is sounding the same way or sounding similar. It is because that is his style. Mm. You see, even as presenters, there are some words that no matter what, mm -hmm. 
when you are speaking, you use them more than some words. Yeah. Listen to some presenters. You hear some people saying you're speaking more of, of course. Mm. You see some people like recently. Pro probably. Probably. <laughs> uh huh. You see, it, you it is like that with everybody. There are some things, as much as that's how you do it, it becomes part of you. Yeah. So if Black Rasta says Black Sheriff is sounding similar, he did not say Black Sheriff is sounding one way. Mm. And no matter what, Black Sheriff will sound similar. Mm -hmm. In fact, that is the norm. Mm. Mm. Because he's the same person, it is the same voice, the same style. Mm. I told you Black Sheriff until he started shouting in the first sermon and second, the second, second sermon. sermon yeah. People were not minding him. When yeah. he came here as a young artist, mm. as a fresh artist, mm -hmm. he was still singing good. Some of us, we listened to him and ah, this guy is good. Mm. We, were, he, we were so much loving him because we knew he had something. Mm. But Ghanaians were not giving him attention until he started raising his voice. Mm -hmm. Then the moment he raised his voice, everybody like, whoa, whoa. who is that guy shouting? Mm. And now they started talking about him. So if he has done that and it worked, mm -hmm. do you think he'll do something different again? He'll not do anything different. He'll give it to you, give it to you, give it to you for you to enjoy mm -hmm. that this is what you guys like and I'm giving it to you like mm -hmm. they say, give them. Mm -hmm. And that's what he's doing. So me, what Black Rasta is saying, unless someone takes it from that negative perspective before okay. they will say he's saying mm -hmm. something, in neg uh, something different. He's mm -hmm. not saying anything. Mm -hmm. He's saying that, yes, the guy is good. Maybe he's lucky because his songs are the songs trending now. So many people are putting out good songs, and that's the fact, too. Mm. It's not as if the song people are putting out are bad songs, too. People are putting out good songs, but are they making waves? No, they are not making waves. Are they trending? No, they are not trending. So if you are lucky and you get that breakthrough, don't take it for granted. Like, take it so important and make sure you protect it. And that's what Black Sheriff is enjoying now. So whatever Black Sheriff, um, Black, Black Rasta is telling Black Sheriff, it is not as if it is Black Sheriff alone. Mm. Just that he was asked about Black Sheriff specifically. Mm. Almost every artist, almost, me, I'll not put anybody aside. Mm. Almost every artist, they have a way of sounding similar. Mm -hmm. You listen to their songs, one, two, three, four, mm. five, and you know that ah, these guys are almost sounding similar, mm. and they are the same people. Mm. So to me, Black Rasta hasn't said anything different. Okay. Um, it is a vibe that when you are caught on to it, you will still be in it. And that's what Black Sheriff has seen. Okay, this is the guys, or this is what the people want. Mm. Let me give it to them. And that's what we are enjoying. Listen to the pace of uh, Sermon 1, Sermon 2, and Gwakuda Traveler. Mm. Listen to the pace. Okay. Listen to how he delivers. Like the upturn, upturn mm. comes. Mm. Is it not the same? It, it is. is the same. Yeah. Uh -huh. So if he says you are sounding similar, it is not an insult. He didn't say you are sounding the same. Mm. And like I'm saying, everybody, every musician, they have a way of sounding similar. Mm. Black Rasta is not, it's not different from that. Mm. He's not an exception. There are some of his songs. Me, I have been a fan of Black Rasta mm -hmm. since. Mm -hmm. I have been a fan of him. Some of his songs I can sing from A to Z. Mm -hmm. Some of his songs, yes, you can see that, okay, if not for anything, even the arrangement, mm. Mm -hmm. If not for anything, because oh, the arrangement of say his song called Ayawata is maybe similar to his uh, another song, uh, maybe um, Sewakoto. Mm -hmm. His arrangement of, uh, of Barack Obama sounds like uh, the arrangement in this. Mm. You understand? I get it. If you listen to his songs, you know that oh, this one and this one they have some similarities because that is his style. Mm. He said that poetry mm. or poet. Mm. Anytime he puts out something, you know that okay, he, someone will come and do the chorus. He comes in to do his that poetry. Someone will come and do the chorus. He, that, he comes in to do the that poetry. Sometimes he puts another person to do some raga lines mm. elsewhere. Mm. Listen to some of his songs, and you know that oh, this the structure was like this. The structure was like this. The structure was like that. But he's been able to do it so well that mm. over the years, you will still listen to him and he will, he will not sound boring to you. And, yeah. and I'm sure that is the caution he's sending to Black Sheriff that okay. do it. Mm. But make sure at every point in time, you don't sound the same in the ears of the people. Mm. So if it is like that, do it like that, but still mm. the same style. And I'm sure this is one of the best advice a big musician will give to a younger musician. Okay, so this is what I wanted to enter into it. Um, similarities, like we are talking about, mm. in content, mm -hmm. in craft, mm -hmm. in, in creativity. Mm -hmm. Is it a problem? Or can it, can it cause a problem tomorrow? Um, it might not be a problem, but based on how you do it. So, for instance, I, I think I've, I've mentioned this here, not the first time. 
at a point, Mr. Kede was giving us the brother, brother kind mm -hmm. of songs. Mm -hmm. We were enjoying it though. Nobody complained. Mm -hmm. We were enjoying it. We were not having any problem until he listened to some vibe from, I know, some negative energy people. Mm -hmm. And they started saying, oh, um, you, you are becoming one way. Uh, you are sounding what local. Mm -hmm. You are sounding funeral. He listened to all these things. And one, one way or the other, I'm sure it got to him. Yeah. So when it got to him, he, he wanted to change Switch. what he's been known for. Mm. And the change, if you ask me whether it was good or bad, I'll tell you me I did not feel the change mm. because the change gave us a different bisakade. Yeah. The change gave us something that we were not used to. And the ear finds it difficult to change so easily. Mm. Let me put it that way. Mm. The ear doesn't change so easily. It's like the way some people listen to a particular program, mm. either on radio or on TV. If another day a different host sits in, no matter how mm -hmm. well mm -hmm. that host will perform, mm -hmm. to those who have been listening to it, they will feel some way about yeah. it until they become used, used to, to. Okay. him or her. Yeah. One day, let me leave the show for you to come and host. The moment someone comes to work, the person will know that, oh, uh, Sammy is not there. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. But if the person continues to watch you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then the person knows, oh, okay, this is a new style, so mm. I should be used to it. Mm. So, yes, if you are sounding the same, it is not evil. How you are able to maintain it, change the style, so that at every point in time, when you're lazy, um, I know some people said, oh, Bisakeda is always singing in that lazy tone, mm -hmm. lazy tone kind of voice, always singing in the uh, low notes and all. It was a style. He should have just given that to us and that's it. Mm. He wanted to uh, impress. He wanted to change. And like I'm saying, to me, I will not see that change as a positive change. Mm. I'll see a change as a change that maybe caused him a little bit. But with Blasher, if he's still young, he has so many things he can do. Maybe this is what he's known for. Mm. Let's give him some time. Mm. He might change it. Or even if this is what the people are enjoying. Some people were even expecting um, Simon 3. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, there were some yeah. who said, oh, he should give us some yeah. three. If some on three had come and it was still the same thing, mm. based on the content, yeah. they were still going to enjoy it. Mm. So you can still sound similar, but what content? Is the content also similar? Mm -hmm. Are you always talking about anti mm. No. <laughs> uh -huh. So if number one, it sounded anti -mailing. Number two, you are not sounding anti -mailing. you are sounding also for mm. That's okay. Then number three, you can sound, it is still the same feeling yeah. we want. You vibe with it. So mm. I think it's as simple as that. It's a good advice. Mm. Big ups to Black Rasta for sharing this advice. Black Rasta, you can take it or leave it. I uh, know in Ghana, if an artist comes up and someone tries to correct the person, instead of them to analyze what the person is saying, pay attention to it, they rather uh, refer to the person as a hater. Yeah. I hope now some people will be smart enough and, don't, and wouldn't see him as a hater. Mm. Because even if they seem like that, he said it. All right, so this one is coming from Black Sami to Black uh, Sheriff, mm -hmm. all about Black Rasta. So me being Black MC Berima would like to draw the curtains to today's episode. Let's say a very big thank you to Carissa, the digital Rasta, Rich the Finest Boy Flex, and of course, Black Lapiji, our producer, Papa. Pa, pa. Let's be careful and then um, stay out of trouble. To our Muslim brothers and sisters out there, we say, may God bless us all. Peace and we are out.